okay, yesterday into this morning, but that prophecy was 25th February. Now, if you look at the video, listen to me. There's a reason why I'm doing this. It's not publicity stunt. If you look at the video, you will discover that it took some time before the security aides evacuated him. And the prophecy was consigning his security. I brought this to show us for three reasons. Number one, that we will believe that regardless of the fact that we seem, it looks like we are in one quiet corner of the world, that God is with us and God has raised us as witnesses. Never you belittle yourself because of how little your influence is on social media. Social media does not designate spiritual ranking. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? You can be in your quiet corner, but God speaks to you. Let's not trivialize. We, sometimes we celebrate people that have larger crowds, and then we forget the fact that this initiative is of God. It's not about the size of your crowd. There are many big congregations with crowd that God has long left, and I'm sorry to say that. In fact, the Bible speaks about the congregation of Satan. Huh? Yes. The synagogue of Satan. So, number one, God is with us here. God speaks to us and it means we must take serious everything that God is doing in our midst. As well as take serious every service. That was not a miracle service. Those two services were not miracle services. The people come only for miracle service. Thinking that that's the only time God speaks. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Number two, so that the body of Christ at large can pray. I gave you a prophecy this year. Was it a, at the concert? I said I saw a music minister die. And she died at the point of giving birth. Isn't it? I know the person, but I refuse to talk. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I tried to reach, but I couldn't. So just yesterday, I was able to talk to somebody who I knew knows her. All right? And, you know, he confirmed, and another senior man of God confirmed that those words were accurate and we need to pray. So sometimes we trivialize prophetic words, maybe because the person that is giving it is not popular. It's not about popularity. God will choose who he wants to speak to. Me, if any one of you here send me a text with a message from God, guess what? I'm going into a retreat with it. That's how serious I am. I don't joke with anything anybody says. You don't choose who God will talk through. God can speak through the mouth of an ass and a donkey if he needs to. It's all about declaring his counsel and we should pray. And finally, the reason why I brought this is to encourage us. Some of you are working with God in your little corner. But because nobody seems to know you or because you are not seeing tangible manifestations that should compel the attention of the public. You feel that God is not serious with you. No. I want you to, in your little corner where you are, I want to encourage you to know that God means business with you, that you are working with God, that you are in tune and in line with God and take serious everything he tells you. You must not be a prophet. You must, you must not be a man of God but you are a vessel in the hands of God. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? So don't trivialize or despise your work with God simply because you are not on stage like me or you are not one of the big or popular names. No, no. It's not about result. It's about intimacy. It's about connectivity. Are you hearing me?